Fox and the uh, Showtime Network's called It's Gary Shandling's Show. We're always glad to have this man back with us on our program. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Gary Shandling. Gary. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks, my pleasure. And uh, I'm Thanks sorry that your show is no longer on the air, but I know that you had a, a great run and you enjoyed it. And and you're on to other things. No, no. I'm, now, I'm, why were they laughing at that? I don't know. I was. Man. It was a sincere. What am I left out on? No, I was trying to say, uh, but I know that you know it was it was a great show while it was on, and well, we're, we're going to miss it. Well, your show's still on, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Hard to tell from kind night of... to night. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks. Yeah, we're all done. We did uh, 72 episodes, and now I'm trying to decide uh, what I want to do next. But it really, it left me a lot of time to do other things, and sure. that's what. Well, that's uh, important. I'm writing a book. Uh, it's called More Satanic Verses. <laughs> kind of a cute title. <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> and then I get to do, now, the last time I was here, this is, this is my most frightening moment of the whole summer. The last time I, so I'm watching your show. Right. I'm, I'm on, uh, it's like 1, 10 after 1 in the morning, something right. like that. And I'm watching, and it was a rerun that I was on, but I didn't know until I came on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I fell asleep while I was watching myself. <laughs> it was, I went, oh my God, is this what the audience thinks? And I was in that, that half-conscious state, you know, where you can kind of hear what's going on in the room. But you're, and there's guys whining about his girlfriend and his, and his hair, and I'm going, this is a nightmare, this is a nightmare. <laughs> and I woke up thinking, uh, oh, it was just a nightmare. And then I looked at the screen and it was, Real. It was me. <laughs> it was that horribly long story. You, you hear the voice of somebody who you find very annoying, and it turns out it's yourself. <laughs> I've gone through Have that you ever here. Yeah, that? right here. Every night I do that. Okay. <laughs> well, then you know exactly what I mean. No, I but think... that, you were telling that story about going to the White House. Oh, please don't bring that up again. <laughs> it was so long, and you know it. And then you reran it. It's sort of the slap me again. No, no. It was. No, it was, and it was. It, it was. Let's not discuss. It. it was too long. It was long, but you, it was funny. It was rich. It was dense with comedy. Oh, very, very funny. You're lying, but thanks anyway. <laughs> I'll tell you, the oddest moment I saw on TV was the MTV Awards. Did you did you see the MTV? Because no, I picture them. you waiting until they're on. The MTV <laughs> Awards. Oh, Sparkly can't talk to you now. Guys, yeah. yeah. Ooh, I hope the Paula Abdul video does well. I um. I uh. So Madonna does this number. Did you guys see the number Madonna did on the on the video awards where this this male dancer comes behind her? It was one of the most bizarre things I've ever seen. And he's behind her. He puts his hands on her breasts. Right. Okay. Right. And he not he, and holds them there. Yeah. I don't mean. He, he didn't touch them. Did it, I'm not lying, I swear. <laughs> he held them. He held them for like a, He didn't let go. He held them yeah. for... <laughs> this is not... I'll tell you how long he held them for. All right. He reached over and he held them. And uh, I, I, was, I turned and I went, Hey, hey, everybody. He's got his hands on Madonna's breast. Get in here. Somebody get in here. Quick. Call somebody. They're still on there. Go get a camera. <laughs> <laughs> that long. That long. That oh long, my man. God! Exactly. Man. So, you you obviously stunned by this. I would have been stunned myself. And longer than I've ever had my hands on anyone's <laughs> breast, if I may say. So, <laughs> well or not, the the, the other. Uh, the other weird thing, I say, I never watch TV. I don't. No. I so never watch. So now you have plenty of time to do that. I watch this show. <laughs> Again, I don't know what they're doing. They, they, they misunderstand yes, your attitude. Yeah, I know. We yeah. know that I'm you mean well. I'm trying to be well. supportive here. No, yeah. you are. Yeah. Okay. You are. Thank you. So, uh, so I'm watching this. Uh, Cop show. Now, see, I like, I uh, really, I like your show. I watch your show. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. So, uh. <laughs> now, why don't you boo him? <laughs> because they know I mean it. They know I mean it. <laughs> now, so, uh, I like, uh, cops. I like this show where they show the, uh, real life. Oh, yeah. I've seen one of those. It's they not... follow police around on their little, uh, activities. Not like a series where it's a no, fake thing, that's a, you know. It's all real. So it's kind of interesting, and I marvel at how the cops really never seem to 
react as though they're on TV. They, they act natural. They go on was, about their business. There was one moment that I saw for the first time where a cop acknowledged that he was on the show and he was slamming a guy's head onto the hood of a car. And as he was doing it, he just turned to the camera and went... <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty exciting. Well, uh, what, all right, we have to do a commercial, and then we'll be right back here with Gary Shandling. Right here. With a woman who didn't talk through the entire dinner and wore a ton of makeup, mm -hmm. and uh, turned out she was a mime. But I, oh, I didn't they, know right off. Yeah, well, you're probably nervous being the first date and all. It was easy to break <laughs> up with her, though. It was just kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how do you like being in New York? You're originally from the Southwest. You're from uh, Arizona, right? Well, yeah, and it's, uh, I'm from Tucson, Arizona. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it, it's been, quote, hot here while I'm here. It's been unseasonably hot Well, that's us. what everybody talks about. Yeah. I, it's like 85. I mean, I grew up, it was 100 and... 25 degrees in Arizona. Wow. We, our dog ran by once and just burst into flames. You know, and, and, you and, had him fireproof. Did you have him fireproof? No, he had. Uh, <laughs> we, we, we were stupid enough to have those wooden shingles uh -huh. on him, and uh, we thought we were going to have to start a backfire on the cat. As a matter of fact, uh, but dry heat—that's what they actually oh, yeah, say. They yeah. say 125 degrees dry heat. Yeah, you can but, take more of that than you can the, the moist heat. Yeah, is that true? So is a welding know. torch, if I'm not mistaken, dry heat. <laughs> yeah, light that thing up and run it over me, but uh, keep that wet flame away from me. It's the, it's the humidity that gets to me. So, uh, now my dog... Well, you have dogs, huh? Yeah, not anymore. <laughs> As of 4 o'clock this afternoon, no, what do you mean? No, about three years ago. Well, uh, Got to be a certain age, and, uh, you know, dogs don't last as long as humans last. Uh, oh, that's, now that's a good sign. <laughs> the audience is now grieving. <laughs> no, he, he lived a long, full, rich, happy, healthy life. He drove. The dog drove. He could actually... <laughs> but I love dogs, and I know... Dogs can't actually wait to get in. There's the oddest thing. They can't wait to get in the car. Yes, that's right. But they can't wait to get... Out of the That's car. right, yeah, yeah. I think you could leave one door open, let them in, and leave the other door open. Yeah. And they would just get in there and go, we're in the car, we're out of the car. That's yeah. And you wouldn't have to go anywhere. That's right. But you, you have dogs. My dog, I have a golden retriever, actually, and uh, actually uh, uh, a female. My mother, who owns a pet shop, sent me, actually wants to send me another female, because she said two females get along, which I've never seen in life, yeah, but all right, right. You know, I'll, I'll end up with two dogs going, nice collar, oh, boo, there's a, <laughs> yeah. which will bring us to the relationship thing in a second. So, so my dog, I'm home in L.A., and, and the Fuji blimp goes over, which I've never, have you ever seen the yep, Fuji blimp? Yep, the big uh, green and white striped Fuji Now, have you ever seen blimp. it at any sporting event? I've never, I don't know what this thing I think it's spotting land for the Japanese. I think. <laughs> Just shopping. I think Just it sees a there. vacant yeah. lot and they call Tokyo. <laughs> so, so the Fuji blimp goes over. Now my dog, you never know what a dog's going to get spooked at. It's right. and sees the blimp. It's like 300 feet with the whirring blades. The dog freaks, right? It's one year old. Dives under the coffee table. That's where dogs think they can protect right. themselves under yeah. the coffee table. <laughs> So, and won't come out for like three hours. And, 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 and uh, like you, love, I love animals, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I have this dog underneath the coffee table who's just looking up, under, thinking the blimp at any point is going to dive into the living room, right? <laughs> it's a beautiful study in panic behavior because the dog is safe but doesn't know it, yeah. right? So I get a milk bone because I don't want to leave the dog underneath the coffee table for like the rest of its life. You want to comfort it. I want to comfort yeah. it and coax it back outside. Yeah. Help it through the trauma. I couldn't have put that better. So <laughs> I have the milk bone, which is what dogs live for, yeah. and I'm coaxing it outside. You know, you can keep it like six inches from right, your face right. and they'll keep moving and moving along. And I'm leading her outside, leading her outside. The second she gets outside, she just starts looking up again, right. you know, figuring Still the blimp. Scared, There's sure. like permanent yeah. damage is what yeah. I'm afraid of. <laughs> so I figure I'll take her to the park. She'll forget everything at the park as dogs mm -hmm. going crazy. You can just say yeah. the word park and a dog flings himself against the door, right? Mm -hmm. My dad used to spell it. He'd say, we're taking the dog to the P-A-R-K. Yeah. 
The dog figured that out, but my brother didn't know where we were going, right? <laughs> my brother's going the P-A-R, and the dog's going, sound it out. <laughs> so, now, I'm the only guy walking a dog at the park that's looking up. Right. The, the dog's at the park looking up. Now, all the other dogs start to look up. They're going... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm walking along going, I'm not going to look up, I'm not going to look up. And damn, I couldn't help it. I looked up, and all the other dogs laughed at me. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right, all right. We're, 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 we're doing a commercial. Gary, good to see good you. To see you, Dave. And, and I'm glad Thanks. things are going well for Thanks, you, Gary. and to come back anytime. It's, it's Gary Stanley, ladies and gentlemen. Right now.